What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room uh, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Coming at you with an update. I normally say coming at you every day, <laughs> Monday through Friday, but that has not been the case this year. But um, I have been wanting to go live and work on some sewing projects with you. Hi. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but I've been in the process of um, learning how to do FPP foundation paper piecing. And I'm taking uh, a bit longer than I think I should because normally I watch a video on the pattern that I'm or whatever it is that I want to do. And I've learned the basics of foundation paper piecing, but um, not every pattern that I see online has a video uh, tutorial. And I would really uh, like to fill in that gap if I can. However, I am a little bit slow because I am a beginner. Um, so it takes me a little bit longer to learn how to do <laughs> how to do this. What's up, everybody? I miss everybody. I'm so sorry. I have not been um, consistent at all here on my channel. It's been a whirlwind of a year, and it's just, it's not been possible all the time. But anyways, I'm here. I'm working on this um, pattern by a shop. Let me um, get back to the pattern here. I'm working on this pattern here from the Etsy store. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. And this is actually my first ever actual like quilt blanket. I've never made an actual quilt. Um, this is from the shop TTH Quilt Designs. If you guys wanted to check it out, I have posted a link. I get nothing out of posting a link or sharing how to do this at all. But if you wanted to do this, that is where you can purchase it. So um, I've I've done this in several colors now. And this is honestly, you bought a sewing machine store. I think I saw that. And uh, congratulations. Have fun learning how to make it work because that's the fun part. I think the color is off on this video because this is a teal. Or I don't know if it's my camera. This is a teal. This is not like a blue steel. Anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, so the pattern um, looks like this in the back. I'm working with newspaper print because that's just what works better for me. Um, and uh, I, I've tried the um, freezer paper, but I don't like it. And well, I'm going to make a tutorial version of this video Right now, I'm just working on mine, so I think that's what I may shift my channel to doing tutorials on some foundation paper piecing patterns uh, that I figured out how to do. This is literally like I think the third weekend that I spent working. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the heck to do this, and I have finally figured it out. So <laughs> it only took hours and hours and hours and hours of attempts. I've tried to make this in several sizes now, but I, I'm making the big size. This is supposed to be like a nine by nine block. So I think it's like 18 by 18 or something. Let me look up on the table here. This is 18 and a half by nine. So it is nine by nine and then two of them is 18 by nine. So that's a really nice big block. Uh, and um, it's just gonna look gorgeous with all the fabrics together. I have gone with the color scheme um, that was in the um, Etsy shops uh, tem uh, thumbnail photo, which showed the dark diamonds in the middle and then the lighter diamonds in between those and how that creates a, its own like diamond shape. And it's just gonna be really, really cool with different colors. And I am really excited to get on with this. Now I have purchased, 
as the title says, I don't have the, I, I've already, I'm trying to get my camera here to be as straight as possible. Sorry, I'm trying to follow the lines here. It is not working, this camera. It is not straight at all. Okay, then we're getting there. Okay. Um, there we go. That's as straight as it can get. Okay, so I'm excited to keep on working on this. This will eventually be the size of some sort of blanket. I don't know if I'm going to do like a personal size blanket, but I think I'm going to give it to my mom. <laughs> my mom, I already I sent her a picture of the block and my mom was already like, oh, is that for me? <laughs> okay, so this is what the pattern looks like itself. We can print it out. This is the original size. Uh, for the nine by nine block. So once you cut it out, which I will actually need to cut it out again because I only have for half of it. And I need to do basically two of the same block to create the full size block. So I'm just gonna do that. Again, this is just um, cheap Amazon. It's called newspaper print, newspaper paper. Out. I already had to cut out before, but I've been lazy. I've been kind of like cutting it, them out as I go. And now I know I didn't know this before, but you see the dotted lines actually, I think I'm supposed to cut them off and I've been leaving them on, so I don't know. Okay, so let me get this right here. Okay, so now we're all cut out. And I actually like leaving them on the paper. I like the stability that it kind of gives me while I'm sewing. Again, I'm a newbie. If you don't need it, great. But I do. So it's like a little bit of a training wheels for me, okay? Also, uh, don't tell on me, but I have been using this uh, Elmer's glue to keep things together because I'm not, I'm not about that pin life. Um, so I use glue, suit me. <laughs> All right, so this is what the template looks like cut out. So the next thing I do is I label what I'm gonna do. So um, as you saw in my example, I have the dark diamond in the middle. So I put D here, D here, D here for dark. The sides here are light, so I'll put an L. And then these two squares here are white. Now, I know that because I have done this a lot. <laughs> if you hear my husband's alarm going off, it's going to go off for a minute because he's that kind of guy. Anyway, so here we have the templates. Let's get to the fun part. I have my fabric already selected. I was lucky enough to buy, oh my God, as the title says, 90 pounds of fabric, you guys. I bought 90 freaking pounds of fabric. <clears throat> I was finally able to score at one of these fabric by the pound sales. Okay, I saw it on Facebook. The last time I saw a fabric by the pound sale on Facebook, oh, sorry, I think this pattern does not agree with my camera. But anyway, so this is going to be dark. So I'm pre-cutting out my fabric. Sorry if my, um, I don't think my camera likes this pattern, so I'm going to put my um, scissors here. So it kind, of, it kind of blocks the pattern. Um, so anyway, so the last time I, I found a fabric by the pound sale, um, it was going to be like a yard sale type of deal. And by the time I messaged them and I said, okay, I'm so excited to go, they were like, oh, we actually just got a um, offer to buy all of it. And I was like, no. <laughs> So that sale never went through. I might need to change my blade because I think I just dulled it cutting into my scissors. Um, so I finally, <laughs> so 
So last week, I saw this post by this person, other uh, this other person, I guess, um, about a fabric by the pound sale of remnants. Hang on, let me cut out my blade. I wasn't planning on doing this. I should have done this before. But anyways, um, I'll talk about the story. So, uh, last week, I saw the advertisement for this yard sale that was going to have fabric at cheap prices, and then they were going to have remnants, which means already cut pieces, not full yards. And um, they were going to sell the remnants by the pound. And I was like, oh, my God. I told my husband, I said, let's go. So we went. <laughs> Come, and then I go, and, I, and I'm like, okay, why is there nobody? There's no yard sale set up. What, what are they <laughs> It's just somebody's house. And so I ring the doorbell. Okay. So I ring the doorbell. <laughs> and I messaged them. Uh, it was already 9.30 and they said it was going to start at 9. And I messaged them and I say, hey, um, I don't know if I'm too early for the sale. I'm here. And then I look at the date and the date. <laughs> I look at the posting again. <laughs> the date says um, that it was going to be this week, not last week. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry if I bothered you. Uh, <laughs> I showed up one week early. <laughs> and they, they messaged me and they were like, okay, I hope to see you next week. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I was way too excited. Okay, so now I'm cutting out my um, pieces so that way I don't have to, I can put these away off to the side and not think about them. Uh, this one's going to be for the light piece right here. Actually, I should have already folded this piece right here. Um, so on uh, Friday, the sale was going to start Friday. I showed up at 9.30, so I'm starting at 9. So I get there. My husband goes with me. You know, for safety. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this guy has this yard, or he has his garage set up with tables, and he says um, it, that the fabric was $1 per pound on the remnants. So I was like, heck to the yes. I went. <laughs> I had some, I had a couple of canvas bags. I didn't have too, too many, but luckily he had trash bags. So I'm going through, he had uh, two tables. So I'm going through all the tables and going through all the tables to try and get the prettiest of fabrics. Um, and also fabrics that I normally don't go for, like this kind of fabric right here. I would never like actually buy at the actual store, but for a dollar for this cut right here is perfect. And since I've gotten into paper piecing, I pretty much need like odd size pieces. This right here could just be this piece right here. That's all I need. So I'm um I've kind of decided I don't care for traditional <laughs> quilting methods of cutting out little squares and stuff. I can't do it, you guys. I can't do it. I can't cut straight worth a lick okay i don't know why but i cannot do it so <laughs> so foundation paper piecing is where it's at for me as a newbie to all this it's so nice to have i'll call it training wheels sure i've had a lot of people um well not a lot of people i have i have had some comments on some projects that i've posted before where they were like you know you should really learn how to really quilt <laughs> and blah 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 and it's just so much better if you gain those skills. Okay, I get it, but I can't do it. I've tried, I can't, but I still have the desire to to sew and to maybe eventually make a quilt. This is gonna be a quilt project for me right here that I'm doing. This is gonna be my first ever quilt project. How long is it gonna take me? I don't know. <laughs> I can work on this live here with you guys. Hang on, I think I need to set the camera up. All right. But you guys know, 
sometimes well my junk journal video of my channel is originally about junk journals and i must say my junk journals have kind of gone by the wayside i just i just kind of want to sew right now i don't know what to say but I don't, i'm still getting crafty i'm still making um junk journal kits every week <laughs> I'm still in love with actually designing junk journal, junk journal kits. So I still have those that I work on every week. Every week, very much so every week. And uh, this pattern actually has made me so upset <laughs> that I had not worked on it in a while. Um, okay, so now we have the pieces here. I've labeled them out. Like I said, I'm going according to the thumbnail on the Etsy shop where it shows if you guys didn't see what I was showing earlier what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make the diamond pieces in the middle dark light pieces on the sides and then a white triangles in between the dark so it's just such a fun project I've been having so much fun going through the fabrics and kind of making them pop. And of course, I love florals. So there's lots of florals in here because that's just my favorite. This was the first one that I did for this um, project. And I decided the big diamonds should be the flower fabrics because I want them to shine the most. So I'm now doing flower fabrics on opposite diamonds. So that way I can get the most, show off the most of the prettiest of fabrics. Let me put these away. Okay. So, let's just, oop, and I kicked the camera. It wouldn't be a daisy video if I didn't. Okay, we're back. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. It's been, it has literally been a minute since I've gone live, so I apologize. <laughs> okay so we do this one first it really doesn't matter which one of these you want to do first so this one is white and a light color so this will be a light color i don't i, I will iron this but i don't really need to it's pretty pretty straight here and let me get, let me see if I can do this. So one is that, and then, yeah, okay. Ah, there we go. Y'all can see me. I'm over here. And I have my um, best press bottle. It's just a bottle. I made my own starch, which I don't know how I feel about. I don't, I don't really know. It's, I followed some blog, and the thing was called Moonshiner. No, Quilts Moonshine. Quilter's Moonshine. And it was like, it called for vodka, which I actually, I don't have. Um, and they said the cheaper the better. And if it was, um, if it was potato vodka, that'd be better. But I don't, the only vodka I have at home is apparently, I didn't even know it was vodka, was, um, uh, I have sugar cane vodka. Well, sugar cane alcohol. And I googled it, and apparently it is a type of vodka. And I was like, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I had distilled water, which I've had, I don't even know how long I've had that distilled water in my pantry. It's probably been years. <laughs> I can't remember what I bought it for. And um, so it called for distilled water and stay flow. I have stay flow. And um, so I mix the sugar cane alcohol and I mixed the and I mixed the stay flow water alcohol. And uh, the mixture that the recipe called for was for, it was for a lot. It was for like, 
I don't know. They said to use a gallon of distilled water. And I was like, I'm not going to use a gallon of distilled water. So for this bottle, this is all I wanted to fill. I did two cups, was well, slightly shy of two cups of distilled water. Three cup, three tablespoons, I think, of alcohol and two of stay flow. But I didn't feel like it was starchy enough, so I added more stay flow. Um, and luckily, it's been working in this bottle. It's not clogged up yet. Who's this? Who are you, Miss Jen? What's up, lady? <laughs> now, for this pattern, uh, you're supposed to do one and then two. But this shape here is so odd that I find it easier to do two first for this particular up shape. It's the same um, with the B side. I'll do this one first. It's just a lot easier. How you been, Miss Jen? And then I'll glue right here in the corner. And I use glue. I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to, but I am. Okay. <laughs> Sue me. And of course, I've already folded it. I have my add a quarter ruler. I, girl, uh, this is my first attempt. This is my first ever attempt, and I am going to have to go to my friend's house so she can show me how to do the actual, like, quilt part, you know, because I've never done that, and I've never made anything quilt-sized. <laughs> I have, I could possibly put together the pieces that I've made, and I could possibly make a quilt, but I've never made anything quilt-sized, so now I need white. So, this is the white piece. I'm going to join it up against the light piece. And then go over like that. Bring my sewing machine close. And I'm going to sew on the line. I was getting messed up with um, freezer paper. It just was not working for me. I don't know what to say. And then you have to cut it out. It's in a roll, and then I have to cut it out to eight and a half by eleven. And honestly, that was a chore. Oh yeah, I'm sewing it at a one point two stitch. So tiny, tiny little stitches here. So I don't straight line. I have linked uh, down below. I think I'm gonna probably um sign up for etsy affiliates and maybe then i'll you know get paid for doing these kind of videos you know your girl's always trying to get paid i'm sorry <laughs> sorry i'm sorry your girl's trying to get paid <laughs> okay so let me get this over here get this over here how's life been for you miss jen okay so now we got the Technically number two, but whatever. Doesn't matter for this right here. Fold it back. Um, get to, there we go. Let me get my little face in here. Get my little ironing table, which I just covered with a piece of newspaper, right? Paper. So I can get it wet. It's fine. So press it back. And I'll put it back over here. I know I'm going back and forth with camera angles. I'm such a, um, just such a movie producer, you know. These pieces I'm saving. I have a whole little bucket over here. And this does have some of the um, fabric that I ended up buying. But it has been a catch-off for the fabric um, that I've been cut off, that I've been cutting off. This whole bucket is delicious. Um, if I can catch his next sale, which he says is in October, I will sell some fabrics. Um, the sash that I have is 90 pounds, and I'm like, oh, it's so little, you know. <laughs> All right, let's do the next piece, which will be the piece that is, uh, this goes here. So this will be the piece that is right here in the middle. And that is going to be white, dark, dark. And let's go 
this little pile of darks here because the diamond one is the one that I want to be the prettiest fabric, which is this one. Isn't this beautiful? Look at all that. Floral. I am kind of a floral addict and I don't know how to stop. <laughs> and I don't care to stop. So let's do this one here. Now this piece was already cut up like this, so I'm just using it the way I let it is. So let's go ahead and make it a So yeah, so I was there f at this guy's yard sale for about an hour. Um, we chit-chatted. Um, he was selling his late wife's fabric stash. He sounds like a psychologist or something or a psychiatrist. I don't know. He's some sort of doctor. And he just like let his wife buy whatever she wanted. I mean, that's a good husband, right? And um he was left with all this fabric and so he was selling it and I guess he's been selling it I have a friend from an old old oh my god I've known her for I, well, technically I knew her for years a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I've known her for years because we didn't really hang out you know other than at work but um we've reconnected because she saw me post I think she saw me post on some Facebook group about some pillow I made. She's like, oh, I didn't know, you know, that you were into to quilting now. And I'm like, oh my God, yes, I love quilting. And then I remembered, oh yeah, back in the day, she used to be into, she's into English paper piecing. So that was her thing was English paper piecing. And um, I was like, oh yeah, you like it too. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and we, we actually uh, met up to my station over here we actually met up I, I can't remember when but it was cold so it must have been sometime in the spring time the only time it's cold here and um we just chit chatted and then i was asking for some tips and i showed her what i was working on and uh, she gave me some tips i think um when i first started doing these i think i was i tried resizing them in myself but it wasn't working out. So I tried the normal size and I've been able to figure out how to make it work. But like I said, this has been, it's been weekends spent trying to make this work. And I'm new and like I said, there's no videos on how to do this pattern. At least I don't think, I'm pretty sure I looked and I didn't see it. Um, so I will make some tutorials because that's what I do here on my channel if anything but i this is gonna be one of those pre-recorded tutorials i used to do back in the day oh my god you can see my farmers <laughs> i have a farmer's stand. um but back in the day you know i used to do pre-recorded tutorials it's been a long time since i have but this seems something that i could do um is to try out these patterns and make videos out of them so I think that's what I might do. Okay, so here is my here is the two dark pieces that I'm gonna put together for dark dark over here. And um, okay, so let's start with piece number one, which was this right here. And I glue you guys on. I glue. You don't want your don't do it. <laughs> but I like to glue here in the corners and I figure the glue will wash off. I don't know. But I like to glue. So I'm gluing it on all the little corners and then I am going to iron it just so that the glue kind of dries a little bit. I don't want to iron on anything gluey and sticky. So that's the rough cut of that. We're going to go ahead and get it cut correctly. So we're going to cut the seam here. And of course you can just measure it out. But there is this one over two over like $15 called Adequar Plus. I think there's a regular Adequar. 
dog is really dim. So, okay, so this side. Oh, yeah, I think the original out of quarter didn't have this little lip here, so you could fold it. I guess that's the difference. Okay, so now we do the dark over here. Get it together. We're gonna to do it along this along this line right here, dark over here. These two look the same, so I have to make sure I'm doing the dark. <laughs> and that's why I always label it, even though I know what I'm doing, but I always label it. So we're gonna align it right sides together along this fabric right here. And then we're I've been keeping an eye out for um, a good sewing machine. This gentleman at the sale had a nice sewing machine. It was a grand, and he said he spent $5,000 on it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I spent an hour on Friday looking through the fabric, picking out 50 pounds. I had 50 bucks. He said it was a dollar a pound. I brought $50 and I said, okay, let me look. It took me about an hour. My neck was so sweaty. It was like 100, 100 degrees. It had to be 100, 100 something. I don't know how hot it was, but it was over 100. I was there for an hour. My neck was so sweaty. <laughs> My neck was so sweaty. Um... And then we said, okay, well, I'll be back for your next sale. <laughs> I was back the next day, okay? <laughs> Let me get to my eye. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and eye this back real quick. I'm not going to switch cameras for this. Um, but I, um, oh, yeah, I bought this little iron on Amazon. I love it. Uh... Jen, the last time I tried to get on one of these pound, per pound fabric sales, they were so, like, somebody made them an offer to buy it all before they even had their yard sale. So, I was so happy I got to get some of this. <laughs> and he said that's not even everything. So, he said that in October, he's going to have another sale, but my family is going to be in town that week. And I don't know how my parents are coming into town in October. And I don't, and it's that same weekend <laughs> that he wants to do a sale that my parents are coming. So I'm like, ugh. Anyways, here's the white. And it doesn't matter what kind of white. I have some fabric that has some white in it, which I could maybe use. Maybe I should, because I have some white fabric that has blue designs. Hang on, if I can find it. Yes, here I have some. Okay, I'm going to use these because these are so cute. If you hear fabric, if you hear a container fall over, it's my fabric sash, which is not really organized very well. Okay, so normally I've been doing white, but I have white fabric that has a little bit of design on it. So I'm going to use it for this. This is a very scrappy quilt. So, was wondering why you weren't using the cordless one. Yeah, my cordless one has some uh, brown stuff on it. I think it's the starch. <laughs> the starch I've been using. It kind of burned. It kind of burned my iron a little bit. <laughs> so, it's out of commission. I got to clean it. I got to go buy baking soda. Apparently, I'm supposed to use baking soda and um, vinegar to wash it. I was using it all day yesterday, and then it was, like, leaving brown marks on my fabric, and I was like, that's not cool. So, I finally noticed that there's, like, brown stuff on it, and I was like, not cool. Okay, so I gotta get this. Let me starch it and iron it. But, you know what? This little iron has been really, really cool when I do the small pieces. Because sometimes I, I have been making, um... I normally I've been doing small things. This is honestly the biggest thing I've ever made. Um, but this little iron here has been holding on good. 
here I'm going to spray the starch. It's pretty good. And I think the base plate of it is different, so I don't think the starch affects this one for some reason. And I think it's not as hot as well. So I think that might help it not scorch with the starch. So pretty. Okay. So, and then I see this little brown mark. No. Okay. It's a little fuss. Okay. Because that's what happened to my other iron. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to put it up against this edge here. All right. Slides together. And we are going to iron. I'm iron. What the heck? I'm going to sew. <laughs> on the line here. And it's okay. You see this little part over here that's showing. That's fine. Let's realign it. Looks good to me. And now let's sew on the line. I actually sew over the fourth line. I want a sewing machine with the 12 inch throat. I think this is only, I don't know, I think like four. No, no. It's technically seven. Well, six and a half. Six and a half, I want 12. <laughs> One of these days I'll get it. I have been keeping my eyes peeled on Facebook Marketplace, but I don't see nothing. Nothing that I want to buy anyway. Nothing at a great deal. I'm only going to buy it if it's a great deal, okay? <laughs> I don't want a decent price. I want a great deal that I cannot pass up. Otherwise, I'll pass up. Okay, let me iron this back. How fun is this one? The dark blue and then the teal over here. So tea. And this. Okay. Oh, I didn't even actually square it up. I just squared it up. Okay. Don't pick on the baby lock. No, I love my baby lock. I wish, and I specifically, if I can find a, a baby lock. There was this one store that said they were going to have a sale on the baby locks, but it wasn't a sale like, it was a sale I could pass up, okay? So I didn't buy anything. I think they had my sewing machine for like, 500 or something and I was like I uh, mean I got mine for like 350 plus a bunch of stuff so not a deal like you know it's a deal I could pass up but I love the baby locks you know I love me a baby lock because I know how to use it you know I'm familiar with it so it really helps it really helps And I've learned not to check to use the quarter inch hair on my ruler. Because I used to just try and cut out the outside of this. But I guess this is more accurate to do this. Okay, here we go. Okay, bottom part. Look how pretty that looks. I love this pattern, you guys. It's so much fun to play with colors. It makes it exciting every time. So exciting. I knew I should have gone live when I was organizing my fabric. <laughs> it took me 
two hours to to pick it all out and then it took me about an hour and a half to sort it and or and it's not even organized entirely yet it's only roughly organized and i've had to move some of my junk journal stuff out of the way and i felt like some sort of way because i'm like but I don't know. All I want to do right now is sew. And I don't know. I want to feel guilty about it. You know? I really don't. I've been feeling this conflict all year long. Like my channel is about junk journaling. But like I want to sew. <laughs> all I want to do right now is sew. Uh, conflict, conflict, conflict. I'm having fun. Either way, I'm having fun. And this all that matters, I'm here, I'm crafting. Forgetting about my week and my responsibilities. And I'm sewing. Okay, so this, this is how it's going to look right here. No, this is this way. So it's going to be like this. Look how beautiful that's going to be. I'm like way too excited. So now we need, let's B, let's B, A, C, B. Yeah. Now we need B. Which is going to be this dark blue and this light blue on the side because the light sides are here on the side okay so uh, you normally do one first but it's such an odd shape like I've said before it's just such an odd shape that I'd rather do that one first do what you want. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jen. And then my mom is coming into town in October. And she calls me and she's like, oh, uh, we're coming into town in October. And it's going to be me, your aunt, your uncle, and your cousin. <laughs> and I'm like, I live in a two-bedroom townhouse. <laughs> What about a two-bedroom townhouse says you can fit? I mean, mom, dad, me, husband, my aunt, my uncle, and my cousin. What about a two-bedroom townhouse says you can fit seven people? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. So, my dad is like, oh, we could just put some people in that back room. The back room has my treadmill and my cat box. Okay. And my, <laughs> my mom thinks you can put people there. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we could just put an inflatable, you know, bed in that room. And I'm just like, that doesn't, that literally doesn't make any sense. There's a cat box there. Who was going to want to sleep next to the cat box? Nobody. You know. Rightfully so. And. <laughs> so the only solution I could come up with. Is that I'm going to move. This. My, my craft desk. And my regular desk. I'm gonna move, okay, I have three desks. <sighs> my plan is to move two of them outside. My craft desk, which is what I'm on now, this we could use as a dining space because I don't have a dining room table. I don't have company, you know. It's never been a, I've never had a concern myself with that. And now my mom is like, oh yeah, by the way, you're going to be a host. <laughs> so seven people. <laughs> um, so... That's the plan. I'm if I have a big living room, but I have all my craft stuff in it, <laughs> and that's my problem. I don't even know how old these fabrics are, you guys, but some of them are. Some of them look a little vintage. A little, like this one looks like from the eighties. Sorry if you feel insulted by me calling the vid the eighties vintage, but that is what Etsy says. <laughs> That's what Etsy says, so don't talk to me, talk to Etsy. 
Okay, so the only one I have to get correct right now is this one. So I'm like, you'll be like starting. So if I move my two craft desks to the back, I move this, that, this, this is a dining room table, technically. I can move that over to the, to that side of the wall. Then we'll have enough space to put two inflatable beds here in the living room. Me and my husband can sleep on the couch. My mom and my dad can sleep in our room. Two inflatable beds here, my uncle and my aunt and my cousin. Done. That's what I imagined so in my head. Is that what is gonna happen? I don't know, but I don't know what else to do because I don't have any freaking room. <laughs> and I have a mother who does not consult me when decisions impact me directly. <laughs> Let me get my sun machine here. We're gonna so okay. So in the, and I saw right before I saw actually way before the line. So in the seam allowance. That helps later on so it doesn't fall apart on me. And this is literally so by numbers. And it is what has kept me still wanting to sew. Because when I had to do the traditional, it just was not working out for me. I was like, I just, I don't know. I can't sew straight. Or I can't sew straight. I just cannot make a, like a straight square. I can't do it. I don't know what I, I don't know. Okay, so let me open this up. Let me iron it back. So Well, my mom's original plan is that like three people would sleep on my king size bed, and I'm just like, that is insane. I barely fit in there. But maybe they're a little bit skinnier than me. But still, what? That's crazy. So unnecessary. Um, all right, so let's cut this out here. There is a lot of excess fabric use with this technique, but I don't, I don't really care. I just bought 90 pounds of fabric. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I, it's, it's all good. <laughs> so let's cut this all here. I'm telling you, I was like a kid in a candy store. Except that candy store was hot, so <laughs> it wasn't the best of the best that it could be, but it still was fun to just go through all these different fabrics, the most beautiful fabrics you can imagine, and some ugly ones. <laughs> and some ugly ones. Jen, if you ever try it, like I said, I've never actually done it, but this technique right here, is it, I, you try the traditional i of course try the traditional methods if you want to <laughs> i tried i didn't like it here let me glue the corner here because i can't it. i didn't like it so here i am doing the easy way which is technically all backwards from traditional Quilting or piecing, I've been told. This is literally the opposite of what you would do. <laughs> and somehow that works for me. Okay, so here's this. This is what it's going to look like. It this okay so when i first got this pattern i really freaked out because the it doesn't match you see how this here doesn't match with that at all it's like all wonky down here i was like what what is happening what did, what, what did i just buy but somehow putting it together it works i don't know i don't know it works hang on i wanted to open the pie oatmeal pie break Boop, 
right before I went live, he was being so loud, and I was like, oh, he's going to be off camera, and he's not, but he's not, so I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> so this is pretty. This possibly could have been a little bit lighter, but it's okay. That's cute. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, we're going to have one that has this. Okay. Let's put it together. So, it doesn't matter if you want to do this to this or this to this. It doesn't matter. So, matching points are this right here. That point right there. Put a pin through it. Have I messed this up? Yes, I have many, many times. <laughs> many, many times have I messed this up. Now I'm going to look up to the light. I can see it. Because the next matching point is kind of tricky. Next matching point is right there. Same thing on the other side. Come on, but you Okay, so that's the matching point right there. Put that together. And then what we're going to do. Get some pins. I'm making this look easy, but honestly, I have spent hours and hours and hours and hours messing it up. <laughs> That's how I learned. <laughs> okay. Next me to point is this point at this point. If I had known this the first time I did this, but I did it, nobody told me there's no video. <laughs> the instructions are here is part one, part two, part three, put it together. <laughs> That's the directions on most of these patterns. Mm. Some people will have tutorials, but it's so rare. Now, I'm putting this up to, sorry, I'm chewing on my oatmeal pie. Um, I'm putting this up to the light so I can see the pointers up right here. Mm. Yeah, I only got the point right there. Match that up. Let me post the pattern again if you guys want to see. Again, I benefit nothing if you buy it. But I'm going to support the creator, of course. Okay. I have this literally just this piece of, this is freezer paper. And I made it smaller because you can see this is basically right here. But it didn't work out. So right now I'm just using it to glue this down. So I'm going to glue the very, very tip of this. Put the pin all the way in. And I'm going to glue between here. Between these two fabrics. So hold it in place, and then I can pull this pin out. Then again, I'm going to pin here. Very tip. And we'll hold it up to the light. Try it. This is hard. Especially with this dark fabric, and now that I have light everywhere. <laughs> no, really, I have one lamp. But now that I have light everywhere, it's kind of, it's even harder somehow. I got it a little bit, a little bit off. Gotta go up a little bit higher. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got it. Okay. 
pull this back a little bit. Glue. That's been my saving grace, honestly. Glue. I love it. Am I supposed to do it? I don't know. But it's what I need to survive. With. A little bit there in the middle. Okay, let's take that pen out, put that clip away. Move these off to the side so I can work here in the middle. And you could see right there where the line goes through that it lines up perfectly. Glue right there. Maybe I should press the pin in. And now my paper has kind of came off. So I'm going to add a little dab of glue. I don't know. I need these lines to be intact. Same as on this side. Let me get the pin out. I don't think I've seen glue use. I don't know if you're supposed to curl. <laughs> no, I have seen other people talk about glue. That's why I tried it. <laughs> it's definitely probably not orthodox, but I don't care. Okay, so now we are ready to sew the pieces together. Oh, and of course, my freaking pattern. This is the problem I was also having. Oh, it is together. This is the problem I was having with the foundation pe uh, paper piece with freezer paper. I kept slipping off. I think I've heard you can also glue that down. Okay, so let's sew this line right here. <laughs> it's really it I think the the designer said it was a beginner um beginner's pattern but but that instructions, I don't know. I did figure it out, but like I said, not on the first try, not on not I think I got it right like on like literally on the twelfth try. It took me about twelve attempts. But you know what? It's okay because I learned something every time I tried it, you know? And so I figured it out and that is honestly I am if you you get upset because you can't figure something out the first time. I mean, you you should really not be like that because it takes a long time to get good at something. And ask me how I know. <laughs> okay. So here it is with the perfect point right there. You see how perfect that is? That is freaking sweet. Okay, it's sweet. Okay, so let's do the next piece, which is this. That looks so pretty. Oh my god. And it's like a piece A and piece B. It doesn't, I don't think it matters if I do C before A. It really doesn't matter. Okay. So now we are on C to A to do that part. So again, my piece came off, so I'm gonna glue it back. Okay. So <clears throat> matching point is right here to the point that is over here somewhere. Hang on, I need light. Some people use a, a light box. I don't. I don't have light box money, but some people do. <laughs> some people do. Okay, so let's slow that there. Oop. And I can sew that over here. And I don't know, maybe I'll get faster as I go along, but I am not fast at all right now. It is taking me forever. It took me all weekend, and this is the fourth one of these that I've done. Okay, <laughs> so they're really, really slow. Hey, baby cakes. They're a really, really slow process, but I mean, what else do I have to do? What else do I have to do? The dishes? I don't think so. You know, like, 
I got more important things right now to worry about. <laughs> okay. So now that we got that together. Let's get this little part here clicked down. Where it's supposed to be is. Now we're gonna glue the middle part here. that together. Let's do this other side now. I can clip that to this piece right here. Let's get it right there. And right here. Oh, this is so difficult. Since I've done it so many times. Look at that. On the first, first attempt. Bang. <laughs> the first attempt. You really, you really, just, I'm so happy I got this because it was, I was really like pulling my hair out when I first tried it. This is all I did for two weekends in a row. <laughs> Let's try to make this work. I can pull out the attempts to show you, okay? Let me, let me do that so you believe me. And, uh, I must have thrown some of it. No, I did not. Look at this. So you don't think I'm lying. Okay. These are when I was trying to make them little. But they just, uh, this is probably the best one I got, but it just wasn't meeting here, and then it didn't meet there. And then this one here, again, not meeting there. I did it again, and they're not meeting there. They did meet in the middle. Again, I'm learning, and I'm learning, and I'm learning. Don't meet on the sides. I don't know what was wrong with that one. This one, don't meet on the sides, don't meet in the middle. Meet in the middle, but this one's too high up, and they do meet on the sides. See? This is, it's getting there. <laughs> and then these ones, perfect, except here in the middle, it's not perfect in the middle. But here I got the sides correct. This is me working on the big size. Finally got it right. And then here I worked on two different blocks and I got these correct, except this one here, I kind of, the corner didn't meet and um, but they meet here on the sides. And then this is the small size. You, the instructions say that you can print it out at 6.667. 6 6.667. I don't know, or 66.67. The instructions are there. This is a smaller version of it, which I, I love. I do love. But I figured if I'm going to make a blanket, it's going to be full size. So I'm, I'm doing the, and this is like 12 by 12. This block here is 12 by 12. Uh, but I decided to do it the, the full size, which is the 9. Oh, here's another one. Which is the 9 by um, 18. Okay. Uh, 18 by 18, I guess. So now so just so you know, I did try this many, many times. Failed many, many times. But learned something every time also so hey hey okay so let's do the middle one now does it take normally that many people that many times i don't know <laughs> that's how long it took me it took me two weekends <laughs> okay now we're all glued down up the way, get the pins up. I hate hurting myself with pins. That's why I don't, I don't like pins. Okay, I don't know. I don't like. Let's get this together. Sorry, I keep getting the sewing machine closer to my eyes. I apparently blind. They do have these magnifying glasses. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Like this big magnifying lamp. That's what I need. <laughs> That's what I need. I'm at that age. I'm at the age where that's looking pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. Again, doing very, very, very small stitches. 1.2. So that when I tear out the paper, 
Uh, in theory, it should be a nice clean cut. Tear, tip, tip. Okay. So there's that, there's that. It could have been over a smidge, but you know what? It's fine with me. The other point was a lot more perfect. But it's it's just off by a hair. But I'm okay with that. So that is the block, you guys, that I've been working on. Uh, for the last couple of weekends, and uh, it's been great. I'm gonna keep going live until my husband gets out of the shower, <laughs> and then I think I have to go shopping. I'm not sure, but anyways, like I said, I'm gonna keep making this diamond here in the middle the biggest and the prettiest fabric. So that hey, Monique, what's up, girlfriend? Look at this, look at this, it's so pretty. I'm just in love with the color combinations. Now that I have more fabric, ah, ha, ha. now that I have my fabric, I'm in love with the color combinations that I can do. This pattern is just so much fun to really work on that, like to really get those fun pattern combos. Oh, yeah. I might actually finish this whole block before I finish my life so my husband can, can wait, okay? One second, please, one second. Okay, so I have to starch these fabrics before I use them. This one too, actually, I need to starch this one, and I need to starch the right one. All right, all right, there's a lot of starching. Iron starch, iron starch, iron starch, okay? That's all my life is now. <laughs> What is up, Miss Monique? How you been? Okay. I try to fold it the way it likes to be folded. What's up, Bobalo? You like your mama, Bobo? You love my Bobo? Is it true, Bobo? Sorry, you guys, I'm talking to Kat. All right, let's cut this out. Uh, that'll go my scrap bin. Busy, put my job in all my training. Oh. Oh. That sounds interesting. New things are always exciting. Gotta do something new sometimes. All right, let me move over to my other camera angle. <laughs> my other camera lens that I got set up over here. <clears throat> Hello. I look like I'm messing. I was just like, I don't care. Whatever. I don't. Oh yeah, I got one of these, you guys. Look at this. How cute is that? I had to get the cutest one. It has a little sewing machine on it. It's called a clapper. Yeah, you're looking your mom was in a quilter, because what'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> I finally got one. I even don't, so I'm like, you know what? 20 bucks, let's go. Fabric starching. Yeah, this is nice because, like I said, my iron was starting to scorch my other iron, my better iron, but maybe I, I could have put it on like a lower setting. 
and it would not have scorched either. That one. This one. And I was freaking out because YouTube's YouTube's live changed, and like I couldn't. It was like, oh, you want to go live on a webcam? I said, okay, but I want to use my Logitech Logicam software or whatever. And it didn't let me change that until right before I went live. It's just so weird. So strange. And again, this is my homemade quilter's moonshine. Not good. So wait, you are still living in the same place for totally new place. It's the same place I've been living at for the last three or four years, but I bought it. Well, I signed up for a mortgage. Let me <laughs> I signed up for a mortgage on the house that I've been living at. So I technically didn't move, but I did become a mortgage owner. Papa Bella? Hubby Wallo and I can leave that property to you, Bubba. I can leave it to you. Oh, maybe you can see him. Oh my god, you can see him. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. There he is. There he is. Bubba Lou. Bubba Lou, the people want to say hi. People want you to say hi, Bubba. <laughs> I know this has now become a, a cat cam. <laughs> I have not been able to get him on camera in I don't know how long. The elusive booba <laughs> The very elusive booba But he's the best little boy. Okay, so this piece here. I know people ask all the time, like, where's Bubba? And he's always asleep. You wanted to see the people? You wanted to see your fans, Bubba? They love you, Bubba. They love you, Bubba. <laughs> he's literally just stalking me right now. So, you know what? I love it. <laughs> okay, I just gonna start, 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 start. Look at these creases on these. These fabrics, I believe, have been sitting here folded like this for the past probably literally twenty years. Literally, that's what the guy said. He says he he hasn't even gotten to the thick of his wife, uh, late wife's fabric sash. So I am looking forward to going next month. If I can, I don't, I don't know. It's literally the day is that, like I said, I'm out of town and then my family comes into town and I don't know how to make it. So that's why I went back twice. <laughs> okay, now he's not okay. <laughs> Okay, and he's gone. I gotta show my face. That's not here to see my. Anyways. <laughs> I'm glad he got to shine on camera a little bit. It was, it was nice talking to him. He seemed like a really nice, you know, older, older man. Got to talking. He was really nice. 
And then I texted my friend, my other coaching friend, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> I'm at this dollar per pound fabric sale. And I sent her the address, and she's like, oh, I've been there. <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, I've been there. She's like, I don't really have a weekend free until, I think she said September or something. Uh, no, no, like November. She's like, yeah, last time I left with so much fabric, and she left with books. She said she got batting. And this fabric smells vintage. Okay, now let's get back to the camera. Okay. And my poor hubby, he was sitting there in 100 degree weather for me. <laughs> Just melting away. Okay, so let's see this other half. I'm gonna do this other half of this thing, babe. So, okay. Give me like, I don't know, like half hour, I guess. As long as the internet lasts. I made sure to restart my computer. No, to update my computer this time. Cause last time I went live and it didn't work. That's what they said you do. No, don't take that. It's for me. I don't know where it is. Oh. All right, so let me fold this piece here. Hang on, you guys, I gotta move the car. Come, the only problem is this light right here. Uh, no, you're not gonna be on camera. <laughs> uh, actually, you guys, I'm gonna cut it now. No, and... finish your thing. <laughs> no, go finish your thing. <laughs> he wanted coffee. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, sorry. Uh, and I'm not doing something lately. It's just for lives. For lives. <sighs> the last time I tried to go live, it like ended. And um, let me go make him his coffee. I'm going to make you the water, Mike. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go make him some coffee. Okay, sorry, my cat wanted to be fed. <laughs> okay, so that's all glued down. You got a new computer? Ooh. Mine's old now. It's, I'm going to have to buy a new one soon. It's like six years old. It could literally go at any time. There's nothing wrong with it. You just never know what computers are. after six years. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. All right, we're putting these pieces together here.
I have not been doing a back stitch because the stitches are so little. That it doesn't really make a difference. It sucks to unpick these stitches. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> Ask me how I know how that's going. Okay, let's back this up. Let me iron this back. Yeah. I'm hoping that because the glue is inside the seam that it's not going to be a problem. Okay. You have two computers? Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to Saving it for a new computer. It's just that time. It's six years old. It's just, I'll wait for something to happen, you know. <laughs> and this fabric is not where it's supposed to be. I don't want the template to be. There was kind of like a little pinch, which is not what I want. And the glue also helps me cut because it doesn't move. So, hey, it doesn't move. Hang on, me and my husband's coffee. but I didn't make a mistake. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Let's do this one. And that's going to be the dark, the big dark, which is pretty 
the fabric and the dark dark which is gonna be this dark blue a nice contrast okay so let's get this cut out to the right shape put some glue in the middle and then I'm gonna Fold it and fold it so it's fold it. I'm kind of impressed right now that I've been live this long, only because I'm on Wi-Fi. Um, I've always gone live on <clears throat> I'm always hardwired to the internet. But I don't know, my computer's not recognizing it. I don't understand. I plug the the, the internet cord in. And it's acting like it. There's no internet. So somehow the port for the internet is not working on my computer. So I'm on Wi-Fi only. That's the only thing I can use. <laughs> so you see how I'm saying it's starting to go downhill. It just happens. It's six years old. It happens. What else are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do? Okay. Fold that back. Ooh, there was this one class that I saw at one of the um, quilt shops. And it was going to be to make a bag. And I was looking over the um, supply list. And oh my god, I have everything on the list. <laughs> I was like, wow. Can I make a bag? Like, how fun would that be? Okay, so the next one is this dark. So let's get this so on. It seems like they're not, not a crazy, crazy project. Let's get that part off. Okay. Get a new Ethernet card for your computer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much that's going to cost. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Oh. <laughs> and it would be more of a problem, but I have not been going live, like, ever. So, it's, <laughs> it's so on the back of my mind. It's on the back burner right now. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm kind of glad that the, as long as I make sure my computer's updated before I go live and I restart my internet before I go live. It seems to be okay. Cut off a little bit here. You see the blue fabric there. I could leave it there, this fray, or I could cut it off. Okay. So now I gotta iron this back. the link to the Etsy shop where I got this from. Again, I start to gain <laughs> from sharing the link. Until I get an affiliate link account with Etsy, it'd be great. I think I'm going to sign up for that today. Okay, so now the last one is the white. The cherry is the regular white. And then I'm going to use this fabric here for this other white because it's just fun. So we are going to match, match up with the seam right here. And so. 
also on the line. patterns out there that I can make videos for so I think I might do that I don't know <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna keep updating on this like I said my my goal is to make this into a blanket at least like a lap size blanket I don't know I've never made any blanket I figured the smallest size would be best to start with. This is going to be the smallest size, but the blocks are huge, so that helps, right? It's going to help me get it done, because I don't like projects that take forever, even though I always tend to get into them. <laughs> even though I always tend to start them. <laughs> okay, let's get this one up. This has been, honestly, it's just fun. Even if I get it wrong, it's fun, and it's fun to, to figure it out. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But then also, as a designer myself, I can't help but put, um, feel some sort of way as well. <laughs> like, I was talking to my, my other culture friend, and I was telling her that, like, you know, I could definitely, like, especially for the smaller sizes, this piece, like, if I wanted to print this small, I could shrink the page. However, it's only going to print one of these per page. Like, I wish designers would fit them on the page so that way I can print out more than one per page, especially when I was using uh, freezer paper, because I would have to cut, I have a roll of freezer paper, which is what most people have. And I have to cut that down to eight and a half by 11 before I print it in my printer paper. And it only prints out one part. And it's just kind of annoying. Or I could buy $25 pack from Amazon and I don't want to. $15 for 25 pieces. Not cool. Okay, so now we're doing the last piece, which is a dark and a light. Dark and light. Here is the dark. Here is the light. With this piece, I just do the light first. It's just such an awkward shape that it just gets just easier. Easier, easier, easier. on to the wrong side of the fabric. Put a little dab of glue right there. Hold it down, a little dab of glue on the corner here. And on this corner. And on that side. Okay. I'm just going to add a quarter, which has this little lip, if you guys don't know. And that little lip right there is a quarter inch, so you always cut the fabric plus quarter inch. Okay. So here's some of the dark fabric, which is B1. This. This size. It's always best to have more fabric than you can be. I don't really like, even 
Some people tell you to cut it just this shape. I can't. I have. I have these big pieces. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's wrong with me. Line up the seam. So on the line here. Should this take me an hour and 36 minutes to do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure the pros out there can get it done in five minutes. But I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to film the tutorial for it. Because I really, really freaking like this pattern. And I wish there had been a tutorial. I don't, I, now I'm thinking, like, did I even look it up? <laughs> did I even look up to see if there was a tutorial? Because I'm like, I wish there was a video. But also, I don't know if I looked it up. The shop doesn't have a lot of sales. It's a new store or it doesn't have a lot of sales so I'm not sure if anybody has done a video on it okay let me go ahead and fold this back I hope it rains again no I don't want it to rain I have a week I have to fix <laughs> with the tropical storm I found out <laughs> My stove, my stove exhaust fan is leaking. It's the most frustrating thing in the world, and I've never seen it happen in my life. And I have to get it fixed. So, no, I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> okay, Monique. Okay. I've heard of people basting their uh, clip sandwiches with glue sticks. I wonder what I'll do. I'm going to have my friend help me, so I don't know what technique she's going to say we should do. But I'll listen to her whatever she tells me because she's going to be helping me. But I always suggest alternative resources. <laughs> I like to be a little frugal. Because, man, is this quilting hobby expensive. My goodness. Stuff is expensive. So when I found a dollar per pound fabric, I was like, come to me. That is my price. <laughs> That's my price, please. So I really took it. I really did take advantage of that. So because I don't know when I'll, you know, I don't know if I can come next month. And I don't know. He said he's gonna donate a bunch of it. So I'm so glad I got at least ninety pounds out of it. <laughs> okay, tell my husband he pulled off the cover on the window. Tell my husband he pulled off the cover on the window. Uh so that you can see. Okay, now we have all three parts. Let's get them connected. How fun is that part right there? This makes me so happy. I don't have many fabrics like this, sadly, so I can't, um, I can't keep doing that on all of them, but some of these fabrics, I do have some of these white fabrics that have a little bit of design in them. So I'll be using them for that. So let's get this put together. Because I think we have to go grocery shopping if I'm not mistaken. Get my little magnetic bowl here. A couple, literally three pens. There's three pens. <laughs> That's really all I need. So we pin right here. Right where that point is. Right there, where they meet. And we pin that too. This is B to A. Again, it doesn't really matter if you do C to A and then B to A. 
Sorry, I have to look at the delay to do this. This right on the money. I have been able to ignore some mistakes I've made. <laughs> it's not perfect still, but I'm getting there. You know, what? I'm gonna get there one day. One of these days. <laughs> Next point is right here. Okay, I was off by a tiny little bit. I can't really see it because of this little dark flower is right there and it's preventing me from seeing through the fabric with the light. Okay. Okay, we'll call it right there. Right there. Okay. Right here. Let's put that there and match these points. They're supposed to be. these two pins. That one, and then we'll go to this end, or pin right here. And pin. Oh my god, again, this is so hard to see. Some, I don't know how I keep getting it right in the right where it's supposed to be. But I am on. Oh no, I guess I've literally done this enough. <laughs> okay. The fabric's here in the middle. And we've got and now it's time to do this fabric right here. In the middle. And I can see that we should be good. Points should match. I'm going to glue this paper down just a smidge. Okay. Let's get this so on. I'm going to make a new sewing machine cover also. It's going to be another round for another day. need a new needle. Okay. Yes. Point is on point is on point. Yeah, that looks great. one. Took this one. Oh, that looks so pretty. It's gonna look beautiful down here. Look. Dang, this should have been over here. Oh, dang. Missed opportunity there, you know? Missed opportunity. Right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be mad. Half this is turquoise, half this is dark blue. Relax, Daisy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes. Okay. 
pay attention to it next time. A little bit lower. Shoot, hang on. All these lights, it has not been a problem before. I just put it up. I have, I've actually been using my studio lights so that I can see better here on my craft desk. I just turn it on, and that's what I use. Like, well, I turn one of them on. And right now, it is a problem. <laughs> it's too much light. Thank you, Miss Jen. Thank you, Miss Jen. Like I said, it took much trial and error to get it to this point where it's coming out every time. And this dark blue, I cannot see at all with this dark blue at all. I am pinning blindly. Ooh, just a little bit up higher. Perfect right there. Right there, right there, right there. Glue stick has gone wild. Okay. And this one right here. Okay, this can be pulled out. We'll put it in over here. The where it overlaps is dark. Oh, but I got it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it went in. And then my friend from work, she says she wants to learn how to do this. So I wonder if this will be easy enough for her to do. I don't know. Probably, but I mean, this is literally one, you know, one line per piece. It's just straight line here. Something can cut I fudge. I just pricked myself. <laughs> I'm glad I said fudge. <laughs> Ooh. I'm glad that's what came out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna glue that back there. It's coming off. I don't like it. Okay, we're good. We are good. And we're set to sit. Whew. Oh, I got blood. <laughs> I'm having my Spinderella moment. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Didn't mean to show that on camera. Trigger warning, I'm sorry. for this line because I could not sew that together. It kind of came apart over here, but I hope we're okay. What was I saying? Um, I can understand. Okay, so this goes here like that, and my point is it's off by a hair, but you know what? I'm okay with that. This plant over here is better. It's fine. It's acceptable to me. Now we get to join the two pieces together. Oh my god. That's the fun part when it all comes together. It's also kind of a labor intensive part, but we're gonna get to it. 
let me get to my other camera angle. Hello. So here what we're going to do is we're going to pick out the paper from the seams here. Of course, my pattern wants to come off over here, but I could just glue it back down on the very, very little tip. I want to keep my pattern intact as long as I can. Okay, so let's cut this off here. Some of it sticks to where I glue, but. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know. I got these old tweezers because there's this little corner right here. And then in here as well. Okay, so let's get this out. Seam. Just the seam. That's why these points don't meet up because I try to open them. I do try to open them. Oh yeah, also I need to tear them apart because I glued them. But I ironed the seams open. That's the part that takes the longest, I think, because I tear them apart for the points where I glued it. I'm going to, we're going to iron that seam open in a second. Going on two hours now. I don't know. Should this take that long? I don't know. <laughs> the day just flies, and I'm like, oh, I only got two of them done. <laughs> the day just zooms by. Will I get faster? I don't know. I don't know. But it's fun. It's still fun. <laughs> Guaranteed to be fun. It's just seeing all the fabric is fun. Now that I figured it out, how to do it, it it's a lot more fun. <laughs> it's a lot more fun than when every time I did it, it was wrong. Okay, I'll tell you that right now. Those are two very frustrating weekends that I spent trying to make this work. <sighs> but it's somehow, I, I don't know. So okay, now we press the seams open. And I will glue my pattern back on wherever it wants to come off. So I keep it intact as long as I can. I have again I've tried the freezer paper method, but I don't know. I, I like the stability of sewing on paper. I'm used to it, and I, it just feels much, much better for me. I'm sure if you're an expert, it's not a problem, but it is for me. I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to take out the seams here. Got the other one, it's, it's kind of, it's under the clapper. So it's trying to keep it open. So 
I just know this is going to be so pretty when it's done that I'm just like, let's go, let's go. Of course, it's just a, a slow process, but it's okay. It's okay. In place, in place. Okay. This um this little piece always makes me look at the tweezers. No triangle. Some pieces like glued on properly. <laughs> Come on, I want to finish today. That's some good glue. Maybe I should buy it, not the extra strength. <laughs> Maybe I should buy the low strength glue. Huh? Oh, so let's get this opened up so that way I can put these two together and make a block. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put apart the glue. And I don't know what happens if you don't open the seams. I just, everybody just doesn't open the seams. So that's what I'm doing. That's just what I'm going to do. I forgot about this part. There you go. It's just temporary glue, so it does come off. Maybe if I get the regular strength, it'll be easier. Maybe I should do that. Come on. I think the next one I'm going to do is yellow. Or green. I haven't done the green one yet. So I'm going to do the green. This one's going to be brown, blue, pink, yellow, green. Don't have a lot of black and white fabrics, but I might put a black and white block here and there. I want more black printed fabric. Or fabric where black is the dominant color. That's what I need in my life. I was able to get a couple pieces from this last sale. But um, definitely the least amount I saw. But this lady definitely had like the same taste as me. <laughs> there was like no bright orange. There was no bright green. Everything was very, very beautiful color. She had very good taste in fabric. And her husband, like I said, seemed like a really nice guy. Okay, let's get these iron open. Let's get this freaking done. Okay, get the copper on there, do the next one. Okay, so 
So now we're finally ready uh, to put these two together. Oh my God, it's been two freaking hours. <laughs> hey, let me turn on the fan, I'm getting hot. <laughs> Okay, get a swig of water. I promise it's water. <laughs> mm. Finally, we get to put these two blocks together. Okay, so you gotta cut off these little extra bits and make sure our pattern is glued down where it's supposed to be glued down. Okay. Just put it right here. And um, what you could do is the pieces on the outside you can make them bigger. Um, and I've done that before where I left the, the outside parts bigger. So that way when I join them like this, I could cut it on the outside after that. Um, but this time I'm, I'm okay with it. But when I first was doing it, it made me feel a lot more comfortable. It's okay if it was not water ah, Okay, so let's get these put together now. My little pins and stuff. So we're going to join them here where the dark triangles meet. Don't be like me last time and I was I glued this side down properly and then I sewed this side. I don't know why I did that, but I did. I'll own up to it. I did that. And I had to pick up those stitches. And they're such small stitches, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Okay, so there's this point where... The little fabric forms a little triangle where I was pulling the fabric from. And that is where you should put your pin. Yeah, it should be just at the top of the diamond here. Ooh, why is this coming off all of a sudden? All of a sudden. The fabric, um, the, the glue is definitely going to show more on white fabric than colored fabric. If you use the glue on white fabric, I found um, it goes yellow. <laughs> so be careful with that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to fix that later. Okay. So then this part right here gets pinned to the top of this diamond. very point of the diamond. Okay. Pin that in place. And then I'm going to work on the outside points of this. Oh, it's so hard to see, guys. It's so hard to see. But you just follow this line here, and it's going to be wherever it meets up with the stitches. It's harder on one side than it is to see on the other, because this side, it's not oh, definitely higher. There's no seam that's open on this other side. Okay. Okay. Ooh, hang on, I gotta glue this pattern back on. Oh my god. Just stay on there. Okay. And I will also clip here. Sometimes it's out of whack. Okay, now let's glue the tip here. Where it's supposed to be. I'm going to glue the middle here. Okay. 
Oh my god. Two hours later, we're almost done. Okay, I promise. <laughs> I promise. It's almost done. Okay, so that's done. And then we're going to do this side. Pick right there at the very tip. And again, this one's going to... If you want to avoid this part right here where the, paper, where the fabric kind of pulls up, like I said, make a bigger part right here and then cut it after you put it together. And you won't have that problem. But I'm okay with that. Oh, the pattern on here wants to separate. Okay. Things always want to go wrong when you're trying to leave, you know? I'm trying to bring the pattern together over here because it's freaking falling apart. <laughs> it's literally falling apart. You see that? That's like, I think I'm on the right spot, though. I think I want to say I'm on the right spot. Now we glue between here and here. Okay, I'm come off. This is definitely a fun pattern if you have a lot of different fabrics. Or a lot of the same fabrics. Okay, let's go the middle point here. Now, you could always check it by opening it up. To make sure that they're going to match up where you want them to match up. I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> I didn't get a good look, but we're going to, we're going to see. If this doesn't work, I'm not picking out the stitches right now. It's going to have to think about what I do with it. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, I forgot to cut that part. We'll do it. small stitch, short stitch, because I'm going to tear the paper out. So I want the paper to be easily perforated. Alright, cross your fingers for me, guys, because I swear. <laughs> Alright, this is probably the best one I've done. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's really on point. Okay, you guys, my God, took two hours, but we got it done. <laughs> we got it done. I can add this now to my collection of the ones that are done. So now I have four. Now I have four. So I need, I don't know, 700 more. But this one's pretty big. Again, you can see it against the size of my hand. Nine by nine, 18 by nine is the size of this. It's going to be 18 by 18. And two of these are joined together. So I am so excited. Thank you all so much for joining me, Miss Jen. Thank you so much for joining me here. I miss y'all. I will come back and sew more with you guys because that's just what I'm into right now, especially with these 90 pounds of fabric. That's all I want to play with. <laughs> so we'll be back to play again. I will make a tutorial, quick tutorial video for this at some point. Maybe I'll use the footage from this video. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, you guys have a good day. I have posted down below the um, link to this pattern. Okay, everybody have a good day. See ya. Bye.